Hey guys, it is Monday, April 6th. Um, today we have a 16 minute AMRAP. Uh, it's going to start off with a 400 meter run. Then when you come back, you've got 25 tote bar um, if you have access to a pole bar. And then 50 kettlebell swings going all the way overhead on those swings. All right, so right off the bat, some modifications if you don't have access to a pull bar instead of um, toe to bar we will be doing v-ups right and then i'll show you a modification for those kettlebell swings if you don't have access to a kettlebell okay so 400 meter run self-explanatory um, we'll post a link in the description with um, a website that you can use to track out 400 meters um, on our toe to bar mike is going to demo for us so what we're looking for is both toes to touch the bar at the same time in between the hands on the top. So he's going to demo two in a row. One, two, right, and go and rest. So if you are doing toe to bar um, and you can kip on the pole bar that you're using, I'd like for you to try to string them together, right? Um, another option is knee raises, our typical scaling option that would look like this. He's going to do two reps. One, two, good and rest bringing those knees up above the hips at the top, right? If you've got one of those doorway mounts for your pull bar and tipping is not an option, that's okay. I want you to try to do strict toe to bar. Um, that would look like this, very controlled. He's gonna bring his feet up, touch, and then lower back down under control. You can also do strict knee raises that looks like this, and then back down under control, okay? If you don't have access to a pull-up bar, then our option is going to be V-ups, which is where you lay on the ground and you snap your torso and your legs up at the same time while you reach for your toes. So Mike is going to demonstrate that. He's going to lay on the ground, he's going to snap legs and feet up at the same time, reach for his toes at the top. Good. All right. So. Um, it's very important with the via that you end up on your butt at the top and you're not laying on your back just doing a leg raise. Okay, so either option, uh, it's going to be 25 reps. Next movement is a kettlebell swing. We're going to go all the way overhead. So when you do this, the kettlebell goes in between the legs, snap the hips, and then full lockout at the top. All right, go ahead and rest. If you don't have a kettlebell, well, let's say you have a dumbbell. You can hold it either by the handles, staggered, like so with your hands, or clasped together. You can still go overhead, or you can hold them on the sides and swing it that way. Right? Just make sure those arms are long at the bottom and then straight at the top. Okay? If you don't have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you can use any sort of weighted object. So we've got a tool bag here. Um, but I just want you to do a Russian swing, so just do about eye level. Alright, so any sort of weighted object will work for this. Again, um, if you are using an unconventional object, be smart. Don't need to go all the way overhead, just swing it to eye level, and that will work just fine. Okay, if you're not comfortable swinging, let's say, a tool bag or a backpack around, then our substitution is going to be an up-down, which is a burpee without a push-up that looks like this and the small jumping clap at the top. Alright, um, again in the description we'll have some modifications for that run if running is not an option. Um, 16 minute air wrap, as many rounds and reps as possible is going to be your score. Remember to post that on Facebook, um, Instagram, on the blog. Have fun with this one guys and we'll see you next time.